Welcome back. We're working on our live streaming program and where we last left off, we were creating this module that would execute the FFmpeg command or FFmpeg program similar to the way our bash scripts did. So we need to have this run alongside the other programs at the same time. So we can run these programs independently like we have been doing or we can just fork it. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to right here we're just going to show the concept of using the fork command. So let's get into it. So this is a very simple file that I created and it's just executing the fork command and it's sending the output to this integer PID and you can use a PID data type but we don't need to worry about that for these purposes. And this is to run the fork command. This is the include file that we need. And all we're doing is we're forking the process and then printing out the PID for each of those forks. So the parent fork, the PID variable, will have the value of the child's PID. And PID is processor or process identifier. It's the process that's running on the system and the child it will have a process of zero. So let's go ahead and let's just run this. Let's take a look at the make file and it's just running it with the standard flags here and it's just compiling it. And we have this execute.c which we'll show in a future video. So let's make fork it. Okay, and it's up to date because we haven't changed anything. I haven't added a clean command. So let's just run it. And what you'll notice here is that over here, the parent ran and then the parent ended before this command, which is the child executed. So it dropped down to the prompt first. So that's something we're gonna have to work on is we need to make sure that the child finishes. So we could add something like wait to it. So as you can see here, each time you run fork it, it sometimes the parent ends first, sometimes the child ends first. And you'll see this here where it's not giving the prompt until both are finished. But over here, the prompt comes first, the command line prompt. We can work on this in a future video, but I just wanted to show the basis for using the for command. And once we do that, we can use that to execute the other command. So we'll play around with the exec C functions in the next video. So go ahead and subscribe to take a look at that. If you want to see how we're going, the playlist will be on your screen right now and also the video that YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you for watching this video, and you have a great day.